the U.S. Air Force now revealing this radical plan to bomb the sky, and they're saying that this will improve radio reception. They're going to use this fleet of tiny satellites that could detonate plasma bombs in the Earth's upper atmosphere. They're saying that this is to improve the range of radio communications, and they have contracted at least three different research teams to develop this technology to be able to pull this off. But they're saying that these CubeSats would carry massive amounts of ionized gas into the atmosphere, on up into the ionosphere, to create radio-reflecting plasma. Now, the ionosphere begins roughly 40 miles above the surface, and it becomes denser with these charged particles at night. That allows signals to travel much further. Now, the ground-based signals they say that they give off are limited to the curvature of the Earth's surface, and most that travel more than about 44 miles are typically stopped if they're not given a boost to get out into space or wherever they're trying to send them to. So what they're trying to do here now is zigzag this reception bouncing it from the earth up off these plasma fields back down to another spot then back up to another plasma field so they're going to be doing this around the globe the question is is what else will this affect will the burst of these plasma devices have an effect similar to an emp what happens if they malfunction what happens if they crash with all of this oh, these massive amounts of, of gas inside, ionized gas? All that yet to be seen, but this is their plan. As of right now, I wanted to share it with you guys, let it be known. I will leave a link and I'll continue to update as I hear of more developments. Spindabu 7, Eyes to the Skies.